We're going to add a couple more bus buckets this year. These are the seven inch tall bus buckets. First thing we're going to do, as you see right there, is we're going to put some half inch holes into it just for drainage. We got, what is there, there's nine of them in there, which we found that was sufficient and seemed to work for us real well. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take some of our dirt, sift it for the bus boxes just to eliminate some of this wood chip and just so we have a nice little mixture for this year. Now this mixture is going to be just some basic topsoil and then we're going to add some black cow and some peat moss and perlite to it and we'll just give you a basic show of what our homemade sifter what we basically do. We don't like to add too much dirt or it makes it for too much work at a time. So. After we sift it, what we're left with is a bunch of the wood chips. Now we'll take those wood chips and we'll bring them out to what we call our dirt pool and let them compost and use them for next year. For the soil mixture for our bus boxes, remember as you saw we sifted about one and a half cubic feet of potting soil. Now we're going to add the perlite, black cow, and peat moss. It'll end up being that to one and a half cubic feet of soil we'll add a half a bag of the black cow, probably two shovel loads of the peat moss, and then we're going to sprinkle in the perlite. Probably end up using a half a shovel full to one shovel full of the perlite just to give it our mixture we like. Now out of that mix we were just talking about, we're going to end up being able to fill up three of these 7 inch bus buckets. So this is our dirt pool I was telling you about. What we'll do is we'll take all those chips from the soil we sifted and put them on in there and we'll let them start to compost down. I also got here some of the bits from the fireplace when we had a fire there at last and just put them in there. We'll let that work and next year we'll be using that in the next raised bed we make. And we'll mix it up. Okay, I'm planting another bed with broccoli in it. And instead of doing six broccolis this time, I'm going to try eight and kind of compare to see which works better, the six in the bed or eight in the bed. In the back side of this one, along the edge, I'm actually planting a couple of extra pole beans, bush lake pole beans, but just a couple. There's only eight in there right now. 
and it'll trellis up because this is a real short trellis right here, only about three feet. Okay, for this bed, we're starting to plant the kale. You'll notice this kale is bigger than the others because that is my leftover kale from last year. Okay, so my kale is all planted and in, and I actually have a couple of beans, bush lake beans that I am actually gonna fill in the back. I'm gonna do some by seed and then some that I have started indoor to kind of mix it up a little bit. help keep the squirrels and birds out while the plants are all young and the seeds are planted we wrap everything with deer netting once the plants get mature we'll end up rolling the deer netting down and just leave it around the sides when we did it last year it seemed to keep the squirrels out even for the remainder of the season Today is March 28th. Let's do a walkthrough of how the plants are doing. walk through the garden. Today's March 28th. This bed has broccoli and snap peas across the back. This bed also has broccoli with beans across the back. This bed we're just throwing some metal wire over it because there's a little bit of carrots in here. We have not planted any of the peppers yet. This bed has kale across the front and green beans in the back. We did add these cabbage moth just handmade found them online a lot of people were using them to reduce the bugs nothing in that bed yet nothing in this bed yet this has radishes around the outside of it we did go ahead and build a new See that arch for the tomato cage? And nothing in this bed yet either. So there's your garden update. And an update on the side garden. Nothing in these beds yet. This will probably be leftovers of things that didn't fit into the main garden and this one we're going to try corn this year and an update on the herb garden 
not much has started in here. Of course the oregano is still growing. We did cover, see the deer netting on this? The balloon flowers, because the deer do love to eat the balloon flowers. But they're just starting to pop up. Put the flowers in here and a little bit of herbs. Just starting.